Good morning. So I promised I would do a video to show you guys how to um, make that sage green. Um, so this is just two colors. Um, and I've got um, a couple options to show you what two colors you can use, but I'll show you the two colors that I use. Um, so I use um, Naples yellow and I use Mayan blue dark. So the Naples yellow I use is Winsor Newton. Um, the Mayan blue is Daniel Smith and it's a Mayan blue, Mayan dark blue. Um, you could also, don't just buy these if you don't already have them. Um, so I use, I keep in my palette both of these um, Naples yellow. It's a color I really like. So the Naples, U, the Winsor Newton is here and the Daniel Smith is here. And you can tell they're a little bit different uh, actually, let me see. I've got it here. So, um, this is the Windsor Newton, and this is the Daniel Smith. Both of those are Naples yellow. And um, I use the Windsor Newton the most, um, but I do use both of them. Um, so, I used, for this one, I used the Windsor Newton Naples yellow. And here's where I missed it earlier. And also the Mayan dark blue. And you're going to have a lot more of the um, Windsor Newton than the Mayan blue. But one thing I like about painting these leaves is you really, you can have it heavy on the blue. You can have it heavy on the yellow. You can kind of do it both ways. Um, and, you know, if you had the uh, regular Mayan blue, then you could definitely use that too. Um, those are just the colors that I use this time. But... So, got that kind of a good, good place. I do just half of a leaf at a time, and I didn't sketch these out this time. It's going to be a little on the blue side. And I'm using a thicker paintbrush just for speed, but normally I paint. The ones on that painting I did with this um, Zero, this Winsor Newton Series 7. And this is a sketchbook um, that's got smooth paper. Normally I paint on other paper, but on a watercolor paper. And that little stroke I just did, um, I just started with my paintbrush, kind of not much pressure, and then I added some pressure. Um, so, Um, so as they dry, um, you can definitely change up your mix, um, and have more yellow or more blue, which you can see these, that's how I've gotten that line there. I painted just half of the leaf and then did a little more of one or the other. So you want to wait till it's dry. So I'm going to add a little bit add a little more blue just kind of down this corner and finish out the other half of that leaf it's definitely easier in this direction I would normally turn my paper all different ways, but I'm really, I'm not used to recording horizontal. So I'm afraid I'll get out of the screen if I start turning my paper different ways. And that's all there is to it. Two colors. Make your sage green. This is, this mix is perfect for eucalyptus. I used to use it all the time for eucalyptus. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye.